Ooh, am I live? Okay. Hey, Kitchenettes. I'm doing a really quick Monday morsels, um, mostly because I have something to do in like 10 minutes. So I got to make it fast. Got to be speedy quick. I'm not leaning my head over the pan, just so you know. I should have pulled my hair back. Um, wait a minute. There we go. We got a little dual action going on here today. Um, I just wanted to do a quick sauce that could potentially be useful to some of you. Cheese sauce. Anybody mac and cheese fans? Mac and cheese fan? Maybe, maybe not. And I'm sorry that I did not preempt anybody that I was doing this right now. But that's just how I'm rolling today. So. I've, it's been a busy, busy afternoon for me. Oh, I guess I gotta turn the stove on first, huh? Uh, oops. <laughs> eh, yeah. That's how we're rolling. How is everybody today? Hey, Spencer, thanks for joining me. Mm -hmm. Facebook's reminding me that I have an event, so I'm trying to hurry. Except, again, it's always helpful when you actually turn your stove on. So first step, turn your stove on. That way your pan can get warm. Somebody's laughing at that right now. Uh-oh, I have a scratch in my new pan. I don't like that. And I'm just brave like this. I'll put my hand in the pan. You don't got to do that. Just feel it above. You can feel the heat. So again, just a quick cheese sauce. Um, could be used for lots of things, but I'm just making it because I want to make it and show you guys something that's quick and easy and easy and cheesy. Okay, now I'm being cheesy. Anybody else not down for the devil's dandruff that appeared today? I got it a couple times when I left work this morning. Totally snowing. Get just past the terminal, blazing sunshine. Walk outside, totally snowing. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Now it's not, it's not, I had to look because it could have been. It's not snowing currently. Thank goodness for that. So I'm just going to grab a dabble of butter. I don't know, a tablespoonish and a half. For those of you that measure, I guess. And I want that to melt in my pan. You can all see that, yeah? Looks like you can. And what we're doing is we're making a roux. A roux. So I guess a cheese sauce is really kind of a cheesy gravy. Sort of. All right, so I melted my little tablespoonish and a half of butter. I'm just gonna sprinkle some flour in there. And really, you're kind of going for an even amount. So one to one ratio. So if you got two tablespoons of butter, you're gonna want about two tablespoons of flour. And it's gonna get this like nice, smooth consistency. And then we're gonna add a little bit of milk to thin it out. And normally I wouldn't pour straight from the carton because, you know, that's going to bring the temperature of your pan down. But I'm in a hurry. I wasn't prepared. Just add little bits at a time until you get a nice smooth consistency again. Oh, I think I added too much. I got chunks. I got chunks. It's all right. Get that whisking arm going and they'll come out in no time. There we go. Almost there. I'd love to give you an exact amount of milk, but how about it's enough. I'm gonna do it a little tiny bit thinner.
And as it cooks the roux into the milk, that's what's gonna give it that thickness. Until we have that nice like drippy sauce. Then I am going to do a little squirt of mustard. I don't know, half a teaspoon-ish. Because that's gonna add a nice little component of tart. And then we're gonna shut this heat off. And I have Mexican style blend cheese. You can use whatever cheese you have on hand. This is just an easy way to do a cheese sauce. You wanna take that off of there. We don't want it to be too hot. Good handful, maybe a cup-ish and a half, two cups, somewhere in there. And you can obviously add richer cheeses or different cheeses. Again, it's whatever makes your heart happy, so don't be afraid. You just want to make sure you're not keeping it on the heat for too long because you don't want it to separate. And then you get this nice, stringy, cheesy goodness. Ooey gooey goodness. Nice, right? All right, y'all. That's it for Monday Morsels. I hope to see you again on Wednesday at 5 p.m. We're doing the last of the three meals for $25. So I'll catch you Wednesday at 5 p.m. Thanks for joining me, guys.